the hill tonight for the Giants will be Mason Black. Black, the right-hander, the rookie, 6'3", 230-pounder. Got him, and that's how this game gets started. 93. Norby took a big swing at it, couldn't make contact, so one away. And here comes Jesus Sanchez. Got him. Nice two-pitch sequence there with the fastball. He went away the previous pitch, and he comes right back inside corner, and he bow locks Sanchez. And he's got a really good one going right now. Berger skies this one shallow left field, and it's going to be Ramos who flags it down. And a nice start for Mason Black. Three up, three down. Strong first inning for Mason Black. Edward Cabrera, who gets the ball for the second time on this road trip, his 16th start of the season. And a slider, a check swing by Canna, and appeal no. So Canna coaxes a walk out of Cabrera. Runner goes. And that'll be a steal into center field. Canna gets up, and he's going to make it to third. Well, that changes everything. A steal for Canna, taking third on the throwing error by Ali Sanchez. As Chapman watches a change up low ball four. A second walk of the inning, but either way you slice it, Mel Stoudemire Jr. probably not thrilled with a 23 pitch first inning as now Conforto digs in. And that has popped into the air, foul territory. Bride is over, and he is back pedaling, and he makes the catch over his left shoulder, and the inning is over. Boy, it really feels like the Giants have let Edward Cabrera off the hook here in the bottom of the first inning. As we start the second inning, Mason Black on the mound, the right-hander. Swing and a miss. He struck it out on a high fastball. And Black has struck out three of the first four hitters he stays. Here's the Marlins third baseman tonight, Jonah Bride. This one bounced toward the shortstop. Fitzgerald comes up empty. But I guess we'll see. No, they are going to go infield single. And again, it's because that ball was hit so high initially. It was a Baltimore chopper. So that'll bring Griffin Conine to the plate. He accomplished everything to start his major league career. Now the only thing left would be that first homer. This one is hit well. Deep right field. And gone. Griffin Conine's first big league homer gone it hit the right field foul pole conine with his first bomb in the show and it gives the marlins a two nothing lead here in the second someone go get that baseball my goodness edward cabrera now pitching with the lead for the first time this evening foul tipped in bit of sanchez he hung on to it Cabrera got Bailey swinging on a changeup that was running off the outer half of the plate. Grounded sharply to shortstop, and that just ate up Otto Lopez. It trickles into shallow left field, and Carnacion's on his way to second. Here comes a throw in, and they got him! And they threw out Encarnacion by a good, I don't know, 10 to 15 feet. And here is Jesus Sanchez. He struck out looking back in the first. That's a broken bat line drive over the head of the second baseman into right field. The base hit for Jesus Sanchez. And so Jesus Sanchez has the fourth hit of the night for the Marlins here in the third. Here's Jake Berger now. 0 for 1 tonight. 3-2 runner goes. Pitch swung on and missed. Bailey's throw. Tag. He is out at second. A strikeout throw out double play. And Patrick Bailey made a perfect throw. That was a beauty. And here's Hensley. Now a swinging strike three. Another slider breaking ball, and Hensley tried to check his swing, couldn't do it. Strikeout number five. Strike three call on the outside corner. Six strikeouts in five innings for Black. Three up, three down. He's retired seven in a row going back to the third. I mean, you see a guy this big who's got long arms, you're thinking you could get him in, but that swing right there lets you know you better tread softly. And another hit for Encarnacion. He's two for two. Another two strike base hit. Yeah, it cost him his bat, but at this point, take it. Third Giants hit, two of them by Encarnacion. And here comes Wisely, who struck out looking his first time. Left-handed hitter, swing a liner down the right field line. That's going to get down, base hit. Hustling over to cut it off on the warning track is Conai. Heading for second, Wisely. The relay comes in, cut off by Norby. A double for Wisely, and to third, Encarnacion. All right, there's life. Gets the double, and the Giants have their best opportunity yet. Runners at second and third, and only one out, and here is Yastrzemski. Swing this bounce past the mound. That'll get a run home. In from second, and the across the body throw made by Norby the first in time for the out, but Encarnacion scores. And that's a nice at bat, and Yastrzemski gets it done in a two strike count. And a two nothing ball game, you put your team on the board, that's a great AB. High chopper hit the shortstop. Lopez sits back on it, he throws out Canna at first. 
in the side is retired. Giants do scratch across a run. Giants going to the bullpen. Send the left hander Taylor Rogers in relief of Mason Black. Norby, right handed hitter, the leadoff man, stands in. There is a fly ball that's hit in the air deep to left field. Ramos is going back, gives it a look. Gone! Connor Norby with a homer. It's 3 to 1 Miami here in the sixth. That's how you snap an 0 for 6. The struggle stays short. Well, his hit streak came to an end last night, but another hit, another extra base hit for Norby, and another run for Miami. And the Marlins have first and second with one out here in the sixth inning. With one run in and two men on, and only one man out, right handed Spencer Bivens will get the call from the bullpen with the right handed hitting Bride coming up. Now swinging a bouncer past the mound toward the middle. The chairman over near second has it. Steps in the bag one. Over the first. Two. A double play. Bivens gets the inning over. A double play grounder. But a run. And the Marlins have a three to one lead after five and a half. So here comes Matt Chapman. Chapman has walked and lined the single. Swing slow chop to third. Charged by Bride. He bends down to get it. A one hop throw to first. Shoots right on by Hensley, the first baseman. He never got a glove on that one. And Chapman is safe at first. And yeah, the Giants have a one out base runner here at the bottom of the sixth inning. Swing line drive into right field, a base hit. Sprinting around second. Chapman heading for third. The throw will come into second from Conan. Line drive single for Conforto. That had to feel good. And the Giants have runners at first and third with one out. And Tyler Fitzgerald will come up. This slide out deep to left center and struck out. He's 0 for 2 in this game. Swing line drive down the left field line. Base hit. Chapman is in to score. Conforto is second and holding. Fitzgerald, although he was behind in the count, nonetheless gets the RBI hit. Again, a successful at bat with runners at first and third, less than two outs. And that's going to be the night for Cabrera. Xavion Curry makes his Marlins debut. The run in. The Giants trail three to two, sixth inning. Popped up. Hensley underneath it will make the catch. And the threat is over. Giants do get one back, though. 3 2. Well, the Marlins have the leadoff man on base to start the seventh inning. Let's see if they can cash it in. That was a great jump for Otto Lopez and safe because Fitzgerald was blocking the bag. Second base umpire Ryan Blakeney right on top of that. Bob Melvin's going to come out. Bailey cannot believe it. Okay, watch the left foot. Does he give him a lane? And he does step away. Now, does he get the tag down? He's out. I mean, he gave him a lane. He gave him a lane. He moved that foot. This is a huge play in this game. So they're not going to review it. And with their discussion, apparently nobody said that there was a clear enough lane to overturn the rule, the ruling from Blakeney, the second base umpire. That is a beautiful piece of hitting to advance the runner. And now Lopez is at third with one out for Hensley. And a bouncing ball. In comes Lopez. He'll score easily. They get the out at first. So nothing more than a swinging bunt, but it works for Hensley. And the Marlins do, in fact, punch right back. And that call turns into a run for the Marlins. It's 4-2. to two. It's about time for Michael Conforto to knock one out of the yard, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be a good time to do it. Drives this one way out into triples alley. And... Gone and back to a one run game. It's gone. A home run. Midway between the 415 marker and the 391 marker. And Michael Conforto makes it a one run game. And Calvin Fauche is on for the save for Miami in a one run game. And a 97 mile an hour pitch up and out of the zone. Encarnacion swings out of his helmet. And the Marlins are out away from evening up this series in a game of peace. So now there's two outs and nobody on. And Lamont late night Wade Jr. will bat and pinch hit. Swing and a miss. Strike three. It's a Marlins win. And they down the Giants in game two tonight by a final score of four to three. Giants taking around that 500 mark. Not fall one game under. 